she broke. What up guys? Oh, Devin and I are just hopping out of the truck, man, pulling up to a new spot. We're actually gonna get down and fish with Adele and Hunter today. We're hitting this little spot right here, but we've got a lot in store, honestly. We might go pick up the kayaks here in a little bit and fish some waters further away. We're hitting a pond that I've never seen before. Adele hit it last night with a frog and swim bait, and it looks juicy, man. I mean, the spot looks pristine. Very, like, ultra clear. Kind of a smaller pond, but don't worry, we got some bigger waters to hit later. Check this place out. All right, I gotta get rigged, dudes. This looks, it looks froggy, it's midday. Who knows what'll happen? Let's have some fun. I got a fluke tied on too. Guys, you know me lately. I'm starting off with the swim bait. We're just gonna throw the six though, the smaller six inch. It's funny, but like after throwing those swim baits for a while, this guy seems small, which is funny because a lot of folks are intimidated by throwing these larger, uh, larger baits. But no, 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 we're gonna go ahead. This is the Emerald Speckled. This is so clear. I probably spooked five bass already just talking to you guys and walking up. Oh, it's not like as shallow right here as I thought though. Most of it looks very shallow. I wonder if I can get a hit. The flash on this is so good. Uh, he just breached the surface right there. Here's a good one right in front of us. Here we go. Dang, he ran over to it. I'm looking at like a, I'm looking at like a two and a half pounder right here. He's like looking at the uh, citizen. Guys, this big bass is looking at this thing. If I only had the drop shot, I would get this thing first try. Okay, we're back. We'll just go crawl first. I got a good, I got a good feeling. Here, mamacita, where's your bed? There it is. Oh, we're finna get you first cast with this. This is game over right here, lights out. It's looking at bluegill right now, chasing them off. Not going too crazy over the crawl. Let's throw the drop shot. A little science experiment here. Here we go. It's looking at it. It's game over. Oh, that was almost it. It's going for it. It doesn't like the drop shot. Here we go. I'm thinking another couple casts. I gotta get this grass off of it though. There we go. This ought to do it right here. It does not like this worm. He's gonna go straight for it. He's still, still, now he sees it. He's going towards it. Popped it. He ate it. He ate it. Got him. Got him. Got him. Nice. Might be a little bigger than two pounds. All right. <laughs> you know, if you guys like that little uh, commentary, let me know. Because uh, a lot of times I feel like you got to mention what the fish are doing for the crowd to get energized and hyped. I'm like, okay, the bass is not looking at it yet. That was a cool catch. Okay, so it didn't go for the crawl. Kind of surprised. The drop shot got it done. That's a Guggenbaits drag and drop and uh, sunset bug color, quarter ounce weight. I think this is, this is probably my usual 17 pound line. You know, everyone trips about how the fish can see the thicker line, but I like the, uh, I like the 17 pound. Uh, again, recently our spinning combo was stolen. So all we've got is our casting gear. We don't throw spinning very much. So I just rig up whatever on whatever, you hear me? I got a feeling she's two pounds. Pretty healthy looking fish right here. Pretty healthy is correct. 2.31, nice and thick. Let's get that one back on the bed over there. I want you to be able to keep protecting that. I see those little fishies scurrying over. See you, mamacita. She's literally right back on it. That's awesome. Oh, I had a fish. This is that bigger size flute or drop shot. Do you have the truck keys on you? Yes. Well, I'm just wondering if this drop shot is too big. No. <laughs> it's a bluegill. Oh. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. Oh, it's not a bluegill. It's a nice sunfish. Wow. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. That's sick. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. Stop. Let's not. Look how pretty. It's got the blue markings on its face as well as like the super yellow. A little chunky. Hey, these guys are eating good. Thanks for playing. All right, y'all, we are in and out of that place. We got uh, some talk from the locals about how they had drained it and there's not maybe anything big in there. Who knows if they're telling the truth or just trying to hide a little secret, but we'll believe them. We're going to go ahead and run home, get the uh, kayaks, and head to some bigger waters. So stick around for that, guys. We got the whole day's worth of fishing still yet to come. Let's go.
right guys, check this out, man. Devin and I went and grabbed the kayaks. We are now about an hour from home, maybe further, maybe closer. I don't even remember. Anyways, I was getting some editing done while she drove, thank goodness. I'm trying to get these videos up one a day for you guys, but the place looks pretty slick. There's a nice little cut in the back pocket. It almost looks like a little creek arm of this small uh, lake, small lake, I don't know. We're gonna get in here, man. Throw some big baits, throw some small baits, try and get some bites. Let's go get them. Heading down to the water. Okay, gearing up, Devin is already out on the water. I'm putting my phone in the dry pod tonight because there is a... Uh, no zippers on the pockets on my shorts tonight, so I assume that's the smart move. This is nice, man. Just a light breeze, a little bit of cloud cover. Uh, I'm kind of eyeballing this fence over here, just a little bit of structure. After that, probably go down here where it tapers and narrows. I think we're gonna have some good luck over there. Not a lot of it's accessible to bank fishermen because, uh, yeah, you just can't really get to it, so. All right, we have entered prime real estate. Oh, and that's a tree. Okay, I plopped right down on the bank. The water is just like real murky over here, you guys. We've been throwing around quite a bit of stuff. We've actually ventured around a lot of this place here. Uh, and I'm throwing this crankbait instead of like a chatterbait or a spinnerbait because it moves pretty quick. I can cover some water real fast, but it also I think it has a little bit of a rattle, these banger crankbaits. And so this crankbait might not be the best option right here. I just want to run it along the bank real fast. Chatterbait, probably better. All right, busting out the swim bait. Gonna let this thing sink and creep it slow out here deeper. They don't seem to be up shallow, despite all the stuff we've thrown and all the places around the spot we've hit, so. All right, guys, we gave this spot about an hour, but we just don't have the time. We got like probably another hour before sunset. We're gonna go over to another spot, man. Probably just a smaller pond. We just don't have time to figure them out today. We could surely stay here for another hour or till sunset. Maybe get on one or two, really find out what they're keying in on, but uh, We'd rather maybe just hit a little pond spot right quick, get a bunch of catches for you guys, and then hop around to a couple more places in the next couple days with the kayaks when we get out a little earlier. So let's go try another pond. What was that? It fell. The whole way? Uh, yeah. Oh, can you be more careful with it? Nope, she broke. Okay, so apparently that happens. <laughs> I, to, somebody told Evan I was dropping that slowly. She was mad. <laughs> I was like, that was so loud. I literally was like dropping it smoothly and then what was not in my hand, just like right here, I was letting it down smoothly and then the whole trailer decided to fall apart on us. Y'all, we made it to the next spot. It looks so clear. This is ridiculous. Contemplating throwing the yaks in, even though it's just a smaller pond. Just so we can hit this grass line. That might have been a bass right there, but probably a turtle. Wow, this looks juicy. So juicy. All right, I just came to the truck and changed things up a bit. Tied on the tried and true drop shot. Let's see if I can catch a fish with this, shall we? Got one right in the hole. There we go. I was wondering if that would work. I just saw an opening in the grass right there. Dropped it right down in it. First cast in a nice little zone. They're kind of in that grass. That was cool. Swim jig is probably a little bit better than the uh, Texas rig, but I'm gonna roll with this for just a second. Hook set right in the top of the mouth. I felt that bite. I was hoping he really had it because I didn't think, I thought it might've just been a peck there, but nope. He gobbled it up. First bass of the evening. Let's go. Eating them. Yep, came from uh, that little hole right there. Let's go. All right, and this place has died super blue. See a young buck, thank you. Right back into the grass, right in that little hole right there where it opens up. Perfect. I'm gonna put that in. Well, guys, I got a hunch. All right. Oh, you know what? Let's get a paddle. Hey, guys. Good, thanks. Kayak fishing mission, resume. I got a feeling that I'm gonna be able to hit this whole grass line. See this grass? It's real thick, about five feet off the bank, and then it extends to about 15 feet. I'm thinking the bass are right on the edge of it, on the outside, and they're gonna hit stuff that most people from the bank can't use right along the edge of it. So let's see if that theory's correct. How's it going? 
Uh, one on the crawl in the grass. They seem to just be shallow, yeah. I got lucky, I, I saw a hole in the grass and just flung the crawl in there, dropped right down and got bit. I was just seeing if there was maybe anything big lurking. Thank you. I just got this puppy. Uh, <laughs> one for my wife. <laughs> no, first time. Yeah. Uh, 6.65. What about you? That'll do it. Yeah. I want a double though. Yeah, that'll be nice. I'm waiting. <laughs> Alright, well, we tried the urban kayak adventure. Well, that was fun. Maybe hit some top water here. We hit on lock, babe. Gotcha. Got him. <laughs> a little drop shot got me a little fish. <laughs> ah, that's all I was asking for. I don't even care if it's a little dink. Something is something. A little chunky dink. Perfect size for a little uh, fish tank. <laughs> you must have been who was trying to go after my craw earlier. You just weren't quite big enough. That's okay. That nifty drop shot always does the trick. Wouldn't you know, it's probably on 17 pound test. Whatever. <laughs> if it catches a damn fish, is all I care about. All right, little, little chunk. Grow up to be a mighty 10 pounder, double digit in the making. Bye bye. Hehehehe. <laughs> Man, we've hit him with it all. Devin's throwing a popping frog. I was throwing a walking frog. Now I'm throwing the buzz bait. They just don't hit top water over here. Hey, yeah, the pendulum, the buzzdulum. We're out here fishing, man. Tonight's video is probably going to be up late, but be ready. Okay. Well, they are not liking the top water tonight. Time to get home. It is now 8:30. I'll catch you guys over at the house. I got to do some editing on the way home. So, see you there. All right, guys. What's up? I am back at the house, but today is actually. April 30th, <laughs> the day of this upload. Uh, Devin and I have been filming a lot of videos lately. We literally filmed two today and I might go out for an evening session. It's 7.21 now, maybe hit an hour's worth of top water, but we uh, had two awesome videos filmed today on the kayaks, man. We woke up bright and early, hit uh, a morning session by nine. We had it wrapped up and caught some of the biggest fish I've caught in a while. We bought uh, a new camera for the channel. We also went out and got uh, on some fish along this reed line on the kayaks and the bandito bugs were the killer MVP of the afternoon session, man. A lot of videos to look forward to. Go ahead and drop a like on this one. Subscribe if you're not, guys. I don't say that very often because if you're not subscribing and you just come back to watch the videos anyways, it's all gravy. Do your thing. We'll catch you on the next one though, guys. Probably tomorrow, one a day uploads. Let's get them. Peace out. <gasps>